Ladies and gentlemen, Aurora. Hi, it is, it's so nice to see you again. And you too. Yeah, it's been a few years. Um, uh, oh my gosh, we're so excited you're here. Thank you for doing this, this is great. Aurora, wow, this is so great. Um, so last I talked to you, it was a few years ago, you were here in Portland, and I understand something, something kind of interesting and non-musical happened to you in this city. Tell yeah. us about that. Oh boy, yes, did did. Um, well, I, I was on tour, I think my second US tour ever, in 2016, and I got um, my appendix um, started making trouble. You know, those rascals, those little <laughs> rascals. Uh, literally, little pieces of shit. Um, <laughs> but yes, they took it away from me here in Portland, and I, I feel only complete when I come back. <laughs> and I'm so somewhere here, my appendix is like, Walking around, strutting the streets, <laughs> feeling so proud and grown up all, all of a sudden. We're proud yeah. to say you've left a piece of yourself here in Portland. That's yes. fantastic, Aurora. It may be disgusting, but at least it's <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, your latest album, The Gods We Can Touch, such a fantastic release. Thank you so much for doing that and sharing that with the world. Um, I understand there's, there's an interesting sort of almost mythological idea and ghosts and castles. It all sounds like Game of Thrones to me, honestly, when I mention that album. But tell me, tell me if you would, sort of the idea behind the album. Um, well, I, well, I think I was just fascinated because I guess in 2020 and 21, we all had a lot of time to just sit, sit and think. And I thought about the world and what makes the world the way the world is right now and what makes us... Um, the way we are, why have we lost so much on, on our way here and why do we still fight for Black Lives Matter? Why do we still fight for our right to decide over our, our own bodies? Like all of these things, like I was just wondering why, um, why are we the way we are and where did we lose the, the, the core in ourselves on the way here somehow? And then I thought about um, all the things that we search for. I thought about faith and religion throughout times, our gods and goddesses we've had and a long, long time ago, like se mm, let's say 50,000 years ago, I, I bet we thought God was like in the, in the earth, maybe in the sun, maybe even in the water that fell from the sky. We, and and we, can, we could drink the water and have God inside of us, in each other. And then somehow through history, we removed God from the earth and put him away up in the sky somewhere far away out of reach and i just and i was just fascinated by that i think and i wondered what it did to the way we treat each other our planet our women our children our men our animals and then i couldn't find any answers so i tried to write an album about it <laughs> <laughs> right yes wow excellent well that's that's a lot to sort of think of and unpack with the album yes i you know i get I get a sense, Aurora, oh that you dress. are... It's a very nice dress. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice... That is a very nice dress. It's, we got some fashion tips and everything going on as well. I love it. I get a sense that you're very connected to not just people and, and the ways of thinking, but also you mentioned the ground. I'm thinking forest. I'm thinking environment. Um, you're certainly in the right place of the world for that sort of connection. It's, it's beautiful here. What about, you know, being from, from Norway yourself, tell me about, did that sort of have an influence on you growing up? Did it influence you musically, just being in that kind of, in that kind of surrounding? Yes, definitely. I wouldn't be able to make any of the, the type of music that I do without nature and about, uh, without experiencing her presence, I guess, because it's very rare for a human nowadays to s simply be allowed to just exist amongst life without feeling observed or judged or like you have to do anything or be anything more than just something that exists in this world. And I really like that. And I think the biggest problem isn't that people are, are mean, you know, because we're destroying our planet. I think it's because not all of us have the chance to fall in love with m nature. And I think that's why I care so much, because I've, I've been very lucky. 
Hey. <laughs> and it's been very easy for me to fall in love with nature because I've seen so much of her and I guess you understand how that is because you have the same here but it's um, it's just about making people fall in love with her again I think it's an amazing sort of inspiration if you're if you're out and about for example and you get some sudden idea for something to write no oh yes yes yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> but if you're if you're out and about and you get some sudden inspiration something to write is it words is it melody is it something beyond that like what what sort of strikes you first about about making your music um well i've been asked this question a lot and I, n no, no, but it's a very good question because I, I change my answer all the time. Oh, good. So it's a very <laughs> good question to be asked. Thank and you. I love being asked, asked it because, um, I don't know, it changes all the time. And I n never really know where music comes from. And I've been wondering it about it for a long, long time. And also why we like music. Why do we like music? It's a very good philosophical question to kind of sit and and and, and ponder about. Um, but yes, I don't know anything. I, if I see people, if I see sadness in their eyes, I write about that. I meet a lot of people, you know, and I hear their stories. Sure. The people inspire me a lot. It's very easy to be inspired by by people because they go through so much. We go through so much, and it's um, yeah. Th th there's definitely enough inspiration to find everywhere. I think that's why I, I don't really write so much about myself yet, because there's so much to write about first. But yeah, I don't know anything. It, it all comes at the same time. Nice. Like a, a chaotic little uh, all right. thing. Well, let's go ahead and hear some of your music right now. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Aurora here in the Kink Live <laughs> Lounge. Thank you so much. 